Tonight, Irma is a strong Category 5 hurricane. Meteorologist Alexander Cranford puts that kind of force into perspective and explains the potential for damage. Irma's winds of 185 miles per hour plus make it the most powerful Atlantic hurricane except Allen in 1980. Hurricanes are categorized based on sustained wind speed using the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale. There are five categories. A storm is considered a major hurricane at category three and at category four. The highest category there is is category five, where winds reach 157 miles per hour or higher. Almost total power outages and extensive debris could make a place uninhabitable for weeks or even months. There is no category six because as the National Hurricane Center's Dennis Felkin says, once you pass that threshold of catastrophic damage, you have catastrophic damage. There have only been six other Atlantic storms with winds of 180 miles per hour plus, according to Colorado State's Philip Klotzbach. The only one that surpasses Irma is Allen in 1980 with 190 mile per hour winds. Katrina's maximum sustained winds were 175 miles per hour. So Irma's winds are stronger, but Katrina's minimum central pressure was lower at 902 millibars.